When you get older, you know. Oh, don't say that. I have girls who live almost a hundred. Don't say that. I'm I'm, in, I'm I'm just in my teenage stage. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, aging has a lot to do with it too. When you get older, you know. Oh, don't say that. I have girls who live almost a hundred. Don't say that. I, I'm in. I'm. In, I'm just in my teenage stage. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-five. Yeah, you're right. My no. dad and all his brothers lived in the nineties, including. Really? Oh yes, sir. You got good genes. And my mother, sister lived to be ninety-four. Wow, uh -huh. that's great. So I, I'm just like a teenager now. Yeah, yeah. You're just getting started. Yes, sir. You're right. I have a friend who lives up in Big Spinola. She's ninety-nine and a half. So yours is quite mild, not a problem at all. How do you walk with nails? You know, she couldn't walk because um, the nails were too long. She wanted to walk on the beach. She couldn't do it. See, yours is easy. Yours is easy. See how quickly I can cut? Hers were 10 times harder to cut. So what do you live near the beach here in Long Beach? Naples. Oh, you live in Naples. That's a nice area. Mm -hmm. You go to the beach a lot? No, not now. No? So we, uh, she walks around the canals. Yeah? Wow. Ah. So what, what is your secret of being in such a good shape? I don't do anything special. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to get her to walk more. Yeah. Walk nails, right? Yeah, this can kind of get in the way. She has a little bit of bleeding here, which is, we're gonna stop the bleeding with. The, uh, we call them silver nitrate. This is. Uh, How often should I come in here to have my nails trimmed? Yeah, every few months. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So we recommend every couple months, but if it's too early, then we do it every three months or so, which mm -hmm. is good. So, it's been a year. Yeah, I can tell because these are, they're kind of digging into your skin now. So that's why it's, you're, you're bleeding here because it was digging into your skin. And, but the other ones are pretty easier to cut, a lot easier than I thought. So it's not, it's not trouble at all for me to cut it for you. So, oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's a little tender. So when it's too long, when I cut it, it's a little tender to cut, but uh -huh. it'll be a lot better next time when I cut okay. it for you, yeah. And I'm gonna grind it down to make it look beautiful, okay, soon. I hate to take your time, that's the only thing. No, not at all, not at all, that's why I'm here. Don't feel bad, but. Well, looks like many people have many lives. Yeah. <laughs> I know uh, it, it's not getting better. I know uh, it, it's so easy to just reach and just eat whatever available. So I don't I don't know if I ever told you my my regimen every day is quite uh, a little bit crazy. Most people probably think it's pretty funny, but I I carry a little like a bag full of full of goodies, so I don't um, get tempted to you know eat bad stuff right? right so i have my protein shakes i have my um, juices um, vegetable juices obviously and then i have my water there i have my tea with um um you know uh that, that helps like uh, uh cinnamon and things that help uh, with my diabetes yeah. mm -hmm. i have that tea and then uh, I have a little bit of coffee there with uh, stevia. Uh, I don't know if you know about stevia. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's the um, natural sugar that doesn't elevate your sugar, sugar level. Right. Yeah. So I use that in my coffee. So all of that, I have it in the bag. So, and then uh, obviously I want to make sure that I'm well hydrated, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I drink a lot of water and juices, tea and all of those and it's right there. So my goal every day is when I come to the office, I, I put them right on my desk. My goal is to finish all of them, right? <laughs> so I'm not guessing. Right. So it requires some planning, obviously. Obviously my, my wife packs all of those for me every morning so I don't have to do it. But it's such a routine now that, you know, we're able to do it. 
Do you have a routine like that? Yeah, okay. I've been working on a routine and it's been pretty good. I mean, um, I start off with um, with uh, some ginger. Oh, the ginger, huh? okay. Yeah, I, ginger. I, I do a shot in the morning with ginger. Well, my, my water and lemon, of course. Uh -huh. I use water and lemon and drink my water. Oh, really? I okay. I stir every day. And okay. then I'll start off with uh, an herbal tea. Oh, okay. And in the morning instead of the coffee. Oh, okay. And then I start off, uh, I drink this shot during the day. It's mm. ginger. It's mm. um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And, you do uh, that in the morning or in the... Uh, I started uh, maybe a, a quarter of it. Mm. In the morning. Oh, in the morning, okay. And then I finish it off before lunch. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I do the same thing. I do the apple cider vinegar, uh, about a tablespoon with a half cup of water. That's the first thing I do in the morning. Mm -hmm. Kind of wake up my uh, gut, mm -hmm. replenish my, uh, you know, good bacteria. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it for a lot of people with acid reflux. Mm -hmm. Actually, it gets uh, acid and reflux a lot better when you do the when you do those shots. Yeah. Okay, so you do the same thing. Well, great. Yeah. So ginger, how you mix it with ginger or ginger and a 